There have been some very significant developments during your primacy in the area of indigenous ministry and the way we relate to our indigenous brothers and sisters. One of those, surely, is the, uh, the appointment of a national indigenous bishop. Can you tell us about the road that that took and where that stands right now? Uh, I attended my first uh, uh, sacred circle in Pinawa. Uh, and as we came together in Pinawa, there was a sea change uh, in that coming together of indigenous peoples from all across Canada. Uh, Forty-three of their elders put together a petition uh, calling upon uh, the church, calling upon me to appoint a national indigenous Anglican bishop. Now, we've in fact had uh, six I think seven indigenous bishops in, in Canada already, uh, but they're diocesan bishops and, and functioning in their local areas. And what was wanted was uh, one single figure uh, who could exercise a kind of primacy uh, for indigenous people across the, the country. And uh, I, uh, that petition was given by the elders uh, to the young people. Uh, because the young people are the next generation for them and the, the hope of the future. And it's the young people who presented the petition to me uh, in the presence of seven other bishops. And uh, we had conferred on the matter, and I was able to say that we commit ourselves uh, to this with you. Well, the outburst of, of joy uh, in that uh, circle was really quite amazing. And at the final Eucharist, which was just so upbeat and positive. As people received communion and went back to their places, uh, I noticed a number of them went out beyond the tent. And uh, high overhead, there was an eagle circling around the tent, um, which was a, a wonderful sacred sign for many of our indigenous people of, of something pretty important happening. Well, that meeting brought to life uh, the Anglican Council of Indigenous People which is a, a council made up of representatives from every diocese across the country. Um, and uh, they, they put together committees to describe the, the task for a national bishop and uh, a profile for him and a process for uh, searching for one. And then finally made a, a nomination uh, to me. And we could not have been more blessed uh, in the identification of Mark McDonald, who has strong Canadian roots. His father was uh, a Canadian and, uh, and who is uh, uh, part indigenous himself and has been Bishop of Alaska and, uh, and is fairly well known in, in various parts of Canada. And he has just made a wonderful start as uh, a member of the House of Bishops to be a voice of advocacy and interpretation for Native concerns all across the country and to be a support to diocesan bishops and in their uh, indigenous ministries within the diocese and, uh, and to be an ear and a shoulder uh, for indigenous people anywhere in the country.